Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a whole bunch of ideas of hobbies that you can start right now while you're stuck at home. I think it's important to make the most out of this time, no matter how boring it might be, but hopefully with some of these ideas that I'm gonna share with you in this video, your quarantine won't be so bad. So without further ado, let's hop right into the ideas of the hobbies that you can start today. If I wasn't already kept busy with my YouTube channel, I would totally start this next hobby and that is a podcast. It seems like everybody and their mother has a podcast now, but I think that's because it's such a fun way to express yourself. And I really wanna recommend the app Anchor if you're wondering how you can produce your own podcast. So although I don't have experience with Anchor myself, I do know of so many people that use Anchor to produce their podcasts. It's a free app and it allows you to record your podcast for free and then it pushes it out to all of the major podcast platforms absolutely free so you don't have to do any extra work. And the really cool thing about Anchor is that you can start making money off of your podcast right away. So they have different sponsors that go through the app and then if you include an advertisement in your podcast, you have the potential to start making money off of your podcast right away. I think the cool thing about podcasts is that there's something out there for everyone. Everybody has their own interests. So no matter what you're interested in and what you wanna make your podcast about, there's gonna be other people out there too that are interested in the same things that wanna listen to your podcast. And if you're wondering about what kind of equipment you should use to record your podcast, like I said, I'm not an expert. I haven't actually recorded my own podcast episode. Maybe that's something for the future, but I know other people will order microphones online. So I know you can't go out and shop around for microphones right now, but if you wanted to order a podcast microphone online, you could do that. Just do a little bit of research about what models are best. But if you don't have the funds for a microphone right now, I would just start by using your iPhone headphones that have the little microphone right here. I think that works really good. And I use this for my voiceovers on my videos. And then if you don't want to use your headphones, I find the microphone on my iPhone works so well. So what I actually used to do before I got a microphone for my videos, I actually used to record my voice using voice memos on my phone. I would lay my phone on my knee while I was recording and then it would pick up my voice and then I would insert the voice clip into my video afterwards throughout the editing process. And I actually found that the voice memo app on this and the microphone picked up my voice so well and it was such a good microphone. So don't think that you have to spend a whole lot of money to start a podcast. Just use your headphones or your phone microphone, record your voice, and then use Anchor to push the podcast out to all of the major podcast platforms. The next hobby that I want to share with you guys is starting a virtual book club. I think this would be so much fun and such a great way to bring you and your friends together while you're social distancing. If you're wondering where you could get a book, you could order one online, you could purchase an ebook or even an audiobook, and then you can go through the chapters and then meet through Zoom and talk about the book with your friends. Another hobby that you can try during your time in quarantine is cooking and cooking recipes that are a little bit out of your comfort zone. So I've been really excited about cooking soups lately. I make this super good potato and sweet potato soup that I puree in my blender. I also made a homemade cream of tomato soup the other day, which was so good with a homemade grilled cheese sandwich. And I don't know about you guys, but I am just all about food while I'm in quarantine. It's like the only thing to do is eat. So I have been loving finding fun new recipes on Pinterest that I can try out. And it's just something to pass the time, but you feel like you're working with your hands and like you're accomplishing something. So cooking is a really fun hobby to try. It really warms my heart how many people I see having Zoom parties with their friends and their family during this difficult time. So that's why my next hobby is to organize a Zoom call with your friends and your family, maybe have a tea party or a wine party, and you could even play like little activities or little icebreaker games just to make it that much more fun. I think the cool thing about Zoom parties is that you can have so many different people. I've seen people on Zoom with like 20 of their friends and it looks like so much fun. The next hobby I want to talk about, which would be great to start right now, is starting a blog. So I know I've mentioned in other videos that starting a YouTube channel is a really great hobby and also starting a podcast, like I just mentioned in this video, is a really great hobby. But if you're not really interested in being on audio or video, Sorry guys, my memory card was full, so if the video looks a little bit different, that's what happened. But yeah, definitely start a blog if you wanna do something online, but you're not really interested on video or audio. I know you have something to talk about that you're knowledgeable about and interested in, so start sharing it in the form of a blog. And if you're somebody who loves writing, this is a great creative outlet. You can start putting your writing to good use by sharing it with the world and starting your own blog. And what I really like about starting a blog and starting a podcast is that not only is it a really great hobby to try, 
try, but it could also turn into a side hustle if you work hard at it. I felt like it was really important to include a hobby in this video that would help with your mental health. So that's why I wanted to suggest trying yoga as a hobby during this time in quarantine. I actually found a YouTube channel right before I sat down to film this video called Yoga with Adrienne. And it's this super great girl who films yoga routines in her living room. And she walks you through the process of how to do different routines and yoga moves. And it looks so therapeutic and such a great way to get some of your emotions out and de-stress a little bit if you're feeling worked up during this time. I think it's so cool that there are actually professional organizers out there that get paid money to organize people's houses. I think if I wasn't a YouTuber or a social worker, I would definitely try professional organizing because that sounds so satisfying. So the next hobby that I want to suggest to you guys is organizing. And I really have to go through my apartment and organize some of my cupboards. I actually just organized my bathroom cupboard the other day and it felt so good to get rid of all of my lotions and shampoo bottles that have just been collecting under there. So yeah, organizing is another really great hobby that you can try. When it comes to inspiration for organizing, I love scrolling through Pinterest and seeing all of the organization hacks. There's a lot of good YouTube videos on this too, and they are so cool. People come up with the neatest organization ideas, so definitely check those out after this video as well. Because many of us have so much extra time on our hands right now, I think taking an online course is such a good hobby to start. My boyfriend actually just enrolled in an online business program. It's completely online part-time, so he's gonna be taking some business courses in social media marketing to kind of build on his skills in filming and videography. So he's really excited about that. And I think taking courses online is such a good hobby to try right now. I'm interested in video editing and photography, but you can take a course on anything from learning a new language to car maintenance, makeup, pet grooming. There are so many different courses online. I was doing some research this morning and you can basically learn anything in just a couple of days. It's super cool. So yeah, if you guys are taking any online courses or you want to learn something new, leave me a comment down below because I would love to hear what kind of courses you want to take. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you liked it and that it gave you some ideas of hobbies that you can start right now from the comfort of your own home. If you did like it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really supports the channel. And also hit the red subscribe button if you're new so that you can join our YouTube family. I have the yoga channel that I mentioned listed down below. I also have my Instagram, my Facebook page, all of that stuff down in the description and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!